Welcome to Sex Positive Gaming. I'm Annie, and today we're going to look at 10 games where the main character has superpowers. Now, while superpowers can come in many forms, I have the games broken up into three types. Powers that you get through genetic engineering, like with Captain America. Powers that you are given by supernatural beings, like with Shazam. And powers that you are just born with, like Batman. I mean, it is totally hard work being born rich. So there are a ton of games with superpowers that are parodies or trainers, and I'll be covering parodies later this year. But in the meantime, you can check out my video covering trainer games that I'll link on my Patreon page with all of the other links that I'll cover in this video, because YouTube is not a fan of me mentioning or linking to games like these in the description. First up is Savior. I'll be doing a full review of this alternate reality hopping, genetically engineered super soldier harem later this week, but as you can already tell, this is a gorgeous game. The sexual interactions are also animated. So far, the powers include body swapping, mind control, and power absorption, which means that the main character will probably end up being ridiculously overpowered. Savior is available for PC and Mac on their Patreon with a free public beta on itch.io. Next up is Mad World. In this comedic visual novel, the main character is approached at a bar by the god of speech, and of course, they end up gifting you with their power of persuasion. Is there a catch? Of course. Will that stop you from creating a harem? Of course not. What kind of ridiculous question is that? I'm pretty sure that the primary purpose of superpowers is to create a harem. Why else would Aquaman have all those fish hanging around all the time? Development on this game began in 2020, and there are animated sexual interactions. Mad World is available for PC for free on itch.io and their Patreon. Our next game is Superhero Suck. While it is factually true that superheroes do tend to suck, I don't think that there are any worse than normal people. Except Batman. Batman is the absolute worst, but ranting about the evils of one of the most popular comic book characters of all time is absolutely a completely productive use of my and your time. Anyways, in this game, it initially appears that you are born with your powers that first manifest in a moment of stress, but I think that the story is working towards a big reveal. Spoilers. Either way, you move from working at a convenience store to attending a special academy focused on training the next generation of superheroes, and of course, building a harem. This game has been in development since 2019, and the renders can be a little rough, but there are animations. Superhero Suck is available for PC, Mac, and Android for free on their Patreon. Another game with an academy training narrative is Champions of Liberty Institute of Training. Yes, it is an acronym. This is a female protagonist dating sim where superpowers just kinda showed up 20 years ago. The world you live in is solely made up of women, but don't worry, you can still have a harem. I mean, given how your powers work, it is kind of necessary. What are they? Let's just say that they are optimized through intimacy. I do find the constant first-person perspective to be kind of off-putting, but the renders are decent. Champions of Liberty Institute of Training is available for PC for free on itch.io and their Patreon. From a world of women, we go to a world of mostly men in third crisis. You play as a female superhero, who is totally not Tracer from Overwatch, who is captured, experimented on, and placed in suspended animation while looking for her kidnapped girlfriend. But Annie, I thought you weren't doing parody games on this list. Yeah, so this game started as an Overwatch parody, but became its own thing independent from Overwatch over time. I mean, kind of like how Fifty Shades of Grey started as Twilight fanfiction. Anyways, you wake up five years later, the world is forever changed, and you are still looking for your girlfriend. That is some dedication to the relationship, and totally not the plot of Fallout 4. More importantly, this is a tactical RPG like Fire Emblem, and incredibly does not have a harem. It is, however, one of those extreme corruption-flavored experiences with animated sexual interactions. Third Crisis is available for PC and Android on Steam, itch.io, and their Patreon, with a free earlier build playable in most web browsers. I'll be covering our next title, Superpowered, later this week. This is the story of a world where you can buy genetic enhancements that can give you superpowers. Not everyone is compatible, but our main character can eventually acquire all of them, including the power to morph into a female character. This is one of the most ambitious superpower games out there, with so many powers, so many flavors, and the ability to even unlock hidden flavor preferences in each of the characters. And of course, building a harem. This game has been in development 
forever. So the renders don't look great and is very, very grindy, but the options available are really impressive. Superpowered is available for PC and Mac on their Patreon. Next up is Sins of the Father. In this visual novel, you and your not family lose your father in a home invasion. Now you have a big house, a ton of money, and a lot of unanswered questions. Oh, yeah, and you meet a mystical spirit guide in your dreams and you find out that you're a mystical reincarnation of... You know what? You're Aang from Avatar The Last Airbender, except your powers are bending wills and souls. Yeah, this game gets dark fast, but don't let that stop you from using your newfound powers to... <sighs> build a harem. The renders in this game are a little dated and there are currently no animations for the sexual interactions. Sins of the Father is available for PC, Mac, and Android for free on their Patreon. In the next game, My Best Deal, you die and are granted a new life by two goddesses, but you will have amnesia. You are also given powers of corruption and control and you need to choose which goddess you are going to side with. You can also separate your spirit from your new body and invade people's dreams. If this sounds very familiar to a game I recently reviewed, Betrayed, you are not mistaken. Don't worry, we're going to see this theme again before this video is over. Fortunately, the renders in this game are decent and the animations are pretty good. My Best Deal is available for PC and Mac on their Patreon. In Retrieving the Past, you play as a retired genetically engineered super soldier. I mean, I didn't know they were allowed to retire. I just thought that the best they could hope for was to go AWOL while time traveling to go grow old with Peggy Carter. Um, spoilers. <laughs> This title is broken up into three seasons with an epilogue, and while this game feels like a harem, don't expect a harem ending. You don't even actually sexually interact with every woman you meet, but one of your superpowers is literally creating aphrodisiac pheromones that affect all women. I know. Madness. At least there are animated scenes. Retrieving the Past is available for PC, Mac, and Android on their Patreon, with Season 1 available on itch.io. And finally, we have The Awakening. In this visual novel, you are in a coma from a car crash and are visited by a fairy that offers to bring you back with amnesia and with superpowers that you are required to use to corrupt everyone around you. Sounds familiar? I can't imagine why. Next thing you know, you'll be building your own harem. The animations and renders look great and there is a prologue that is not nearly as polished if you want to know more about the backstory. The Awakening is available for PC, Mac, and Android for free on their Patreon. There you have it. I had no idea how closely tied superpowered games were with creating harems. I mean, it makes sense. Superpowers are the literal embodiment of power fantasy. Of course, the greatest superpower of all in a video game is being the main character. You actually have the power to change the world, or at least the level you're playing on. Let me know which superpower game you like the most. What should be on the next list? And who is the worst superhero of all time and why is it Batman? And until next time, no shaming, just gaming. Thanks to all this month's supporters on Patreon. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you.